Okay guys, so today we're going to look at how to uh, take an STL file, say from the internet, and convert it into a sort of CAD geometry um, using ANSA space claim that's suitable for uh, CFD. So you see here a model of a Hyundai SUV and you see it captures a lot of the details um, on the front here such as the license plate but it covers up things that we say don't want to include and we we kind of decide what detail we want to include so I didn't want any internal flow here so I wanted this all covered up but I still wanted to maintain a lot of the features such as the curvature and the and the bends and the sheet metal um, over the bonnet stuff as well here so you can see the door handles um, and certain things on the rear of the vehicle as well um, there'd be certain things here that you'd add afterwards such as say that vortex generator and the rails and we kind of go through that but this this is kind of the output we want to get to something like this that can be easily meshed and uh, used um, for CFD so we'll go now and have a look at where you will get these STL files from okay so there there's loads of places online to get an STL file of a car basically because of the um, 3D printing applicability of it so there's loads of car models online um, Cults 3D is just an example of one of the websites where you can get some free models and there's this guy here he's uploaded quite a few vehicles um, and so a lot of them as well some of them might have a price on them and you kind of pick whichever one suits for the vehicle you're looking to study so I might take this van here this Volkswagen transporter and um, so I'm going to download an STL file of this it's free and then what I'll need then to scale it up to the real vehicle size is something from the internet then about its um, overall dimensions so probably while you're picking the vial be considering as well uh, the dimensions and one thing as well say with vans they have sometimes are different lengths L1 L2 L3 and um, so just to make sure that you kind of match up the correct van for your STL file okay so I'll download this and I'll open it up in space claim Okay, so space claims open now. So all you want to do is um, just drag your STL file into space claim like this once it's in a folder. Um, I like to open space claim up um, outside of workbench. So just search space claim and open it up this way rather than having a workbench file for this because you'll make many saves as we go along. Um, I then like to rotate the geometry um, to sort of suit this direction. So I'll have. Um, the front of the vehicle uh, sort of facing this way two times okay so that should be lined up half decent and um, so the x-axis definitely pointing uh, towards the vehicle is the main thing so you'll you'll load in your file so sometimes it can be very messy and things can be very difficult to work with so like just looking at this here like that's going to be a pretty annoying uh, edge to have to deal with like you couldn't give this to a mesher um, at the minute now there are loads of software out there and um, that'll take a vehicle like this and you know clean it up and make it cfd suitable um but you know if you don't have access to them and you only have access to ansys um so this is a way to kind of to work with what you're given what you have so yeah so there'll be certain things that will be quite difficult to to deal with even when we're cleaning up here and um, so we'll be deleting some of these away so one thing I like to do is to sort of get rid of the wheels. Um, so one way you can sort of do this, if you click, second now, so if you click um, multiple times on a surface, you'll get this bar. You can keep increasing this and it'll sometimes highlight more um, things. But one thing's important here to go over to facets and separate, and you can sort of click a certain part of a wheel um, to separate a, a certain body part from it. So let's see what we can separate out here. It seems to be all tied together. So if I click separate all multiple pieces of separated. So we'll go to the structure. So it's separated into, okay, so this one here, um, it's wheels haven't separated out um, the way we want it. So I'll, I'll undo that. And I'll just delete the wheels manually. So you can sort of multiple click and you can get rid of the, the wheels this way. Okay. Come out. 
So you just, this sometimes takes a while, like this is not an instant sort of process, um, getting things ready. So what I'm going to do is I'll pause the video here and I'll just get rid of all four wheels, okay? And one thing, yes, yeah, so this is one thing to be aware of there. So I noticed, so once I had deleted the part that was connecting this to the overall van body, this separate then became available. So all you got to do is just click that once on that, and then you can just delete the whole body. So once again, um, we'll highlight all this part here, delete that. And so rather than having to delete the whole wheel, it seems that all SDL files sometimes are a bit different. Um, but just knowing the basic stuff on how to sort of clean them up is important. So this kind of multiple clicking here is an important tool. And then the separating us is, is, is also quite important for cleaning these up. So that's grants. We'll get rid of these wheels here. Okay. And then separate and then delete. Okay. So you want to do, uh, make saves as you're going along. Um, so make multiple saves. So you can just save this. So I'll save, um, make a save okay so grant so i've made a save there called design one and as we move along we make more saves just to kind of clean things up so the main way that uh, this works is uh we'll take a body like this and we'll be using the shrink wrap tool um to shrink wrap um, the body now so i'll just cover these up here to make things easier for the shrink wrapper okay so that's important there so you can cover up the gaps of that tool there so just show you how this works. Um, so if I was to shrink wrap this and just use the recommended size there and click tick on that. So you see, I get this sort of a body here. Okay. Uh, clearly has lost a lot of the details. Okay. So it's kind of a trial and error process. This you want to capture as much detail as possible, but you don't want to say capture things like, like this here, like this is going to be a nightmare for the mesher to have to deal with, you know? So you, you don't, want that piece um there so like you would want this here sort this sort of front spoiler thing so this is important um aerodynamics wise to sort of maybe prevent some of the flow from going underneath the vehicle and try and get more to move around and and over it so you wouldn't want this to be completely gone but what you might do is sort of delete it out and then add it again later on so you could do sort of a similar thing to what i was showing you there earlier where you could you want it um, try and cut this away and um, you can sometimes do it piece by piece like this and then mesh over it and it'll have covered it up so uh, just be aware of that so I'll try and um, keep that in for the minute and we'll just go through different shrink wrap sizes um, to try and get the vehicle um, the way we want it grant so if I, one thing just to explain here as well, uh, this preserve feature. So if you have preserve features on, it'll be preserving these sort of um, kind of sharp details and sharp details like that down the bottom. So you, you generally don't want um, preserve features on. So I'm going to start shrink wrapping this and uh, we'll see what comes now. So just one thing here. So a lot of the time, like you'll see these wipers and like you don't want them wipers to be there. On certain vehicles, it will be a pretty annoying thing. They'll be further up the windscreen. You won't want them. So a lot of the time uh, on models, you'll be able to just sort of separate um, those out. And as I explained to you there, if you can't do that, you'll be able to just select part of them here um, and delete them away. But they don't seem to be in too bad of a spot. So I'll, I'll try to keep them in um, there. Grant, so I'll just pause this here. Okay, so I'll just resume here. So I just uh, deleted out a door handle there. So there's door handle on this side of the vehicle. So I'm going to keep this side of the vehicle. Um, as you'll see later on, I'll split it in half. So everything that's on the Z-axis side, I'm going to keep. So you can see here, there's this uh, sort of rear windscreen wiper. So I want to delete that away. So same sort of logic, kind of highlighting pieces like this. Um, and sometimes it can take a bit of time until you get it kind of cleaned up the way you want it. So you see there's little bits here and you can sort of delete these individually. So they can be pretty annoying. Now the shrink wrapper will be able to pretty well get around these things. But, you know, you kind of, it takes a little time this to kind of prepare this geometry um, the way you want it. So I'll just try seal up some of these parts here if it's able to. 
might need to delete another piece or two. So I might just spend a minute or two just cleaning this up and then I'll come back. Okay, so I've cleaned that up there. Right, so I've shown you the principles of this, so I'm just going to shrink wrap this. So the smaller you make this, the longer it'll take to shrink wrap it. So I'll try two millimeters here. It shouldn't be too bad. Um, so particularly if you go down to like one mil, um, it'll take a very long time. But the smaller you make this, the more it's going to be capturing up on details here that you say don't want, you know. Now, for me in just this physio video here, this is just a sort of test case. I'm going to be okay with this. Um, so what you could do in SOLIDWORKS is you could draw the mirror on afterwards. You could delete the mirror now if you want a very detailed mirror. So this is just, um, this has picked up most of the vehicle and I'm kind of okay with this. Um, but as I said, you can um, add certain features later on if you want to add them. So one thing here, you see how this is, um, you know, I'm, I would want that maybe to be smoother. Um, so how could I go about doing that? So you can sort of select these faces in here uh, like this. So that it is kind of a take your time with it. Delete them away. This is very important then so you can just fill it then like this and it'll be a bit flatter um, that way. You can also highlight a lot of it here and then go to smooth and then go to flatten peaks click that a few times and that'll also smoothen it up a bit and remember don't be tidying up the this side of the vehicle because we're going to be leading that away later on um, so again you can just sort of there is another way to do it you can just delete pieces of it there fill it up again and you see that's kind of gotten rid of some of the, the stuff that's going on there right another thing that's really important here um, is to just kind of clean up some of the peaks and smoothen things so um, I'm just going to smoothen this here Give it a few clicks. Uh, you can also click volume aware. That's another type of smoothening. So that looks grand. So there's a lot going on under here. So this will definitely have to be smoothened up a bit underneath. There's a lot of peaks. So I, I generally, as I said, didn't like that peak there. So I'm just going to delete that away. And I'm going to let the thing work out how to fill that. That's a bit better. I'll delete that peak away. There that. Okay, fill that up. Okay, so that's not bad. Um, so then again, kind of going around the wheel well here, smoothening this, so clicking the flattened peaks. So you see it tidies that up there. And um, same again here. So another thing that's very important is you have your lasso select. So you see I can just select this part of it here. And I can flatten all that up. Get that all nice and tidy. Okay, and then you can spend however long you want at this, getting these tidied up making this vehicle because if you're going to use this vehicle for um, some studies where you put certain modifications on it or whatever um, and this is your baseline vehicle you want to spend some time uh, making sure that the baseline model is is pretty pretty smooth and you're happy with it um, that it's not going to be having issues meshing it and that it has um, a lot of the details that you want preserved on it so you see how I'm making that wheel well there pretty smooth so you generally want to um, do that all the way around the vehicle um, wherever there's kind of jagged edges like this. So you see how that's become very smooth and that's the way I want it. All right, so I'm going to pause the video here, clean this up a little bit and then come back. Okay, so we're back. So I, I've sort of cleaned this up. Um, I've gotten rid of like all the jagged edges. I also worked on the other side of the vehicle there to get rid of that jagged edge um, because that will cause an issue um, when I'm doing the next part. So what I might do is and one thing you want to do is make multiple saves as you're going along. So once I have this part of the vehicle done, um, and even, so say after we shrink wrapped it, it'd be a good thing to move on to design two, do a save as. Then after I've cleaned it up, then go on to maybe design three. So just have a multiple save as there. So I'm going to show you the next part of how to do this. Okay. So you want to go over to tools and you want to go to auto skin. So if there's any sort of super jagged edges, this thing's going to fail. Um, so you want the vehicle to have like, an ability to make this thing not fail. So what it's going to do is going to take this faceted body and turn it into a sort of solid body um, by making sort of skinned faces um, of multiple uh, facets, as they're called here, in patches. So this can, depending on how detailed your vehicle is and how difficult it is to skin it, this can take sometimes, you know, a couple of minutes. Right, so you see this, this, uh, this body's kind of, hollow it's because the mirror over here I didn't clean this mirror 
as much as I clean that mirror over there. So there's a little issue here. So that's not too bad. So I should be able to go over here and so it's lucky lucky it done this so you can see if it's only a small issue on the side of the vehicle that you don't care about um, because we'll be doing a symmetrical thing we'll be cutting the vehicle in half and mirroring it over so you want to go to repair and go to missing faces and then you just fill in that face there so hopefully and you see it's able to do it so now the body's gone solid and there is our van so it's crude enough but it'll have as much detail as you decide for it to have, you know. So for me, that captures, say, most of the van um, for what I'm looking for in this tutorial video. Um, I've spent sometimes, you know, maybe two or three hours um, preparing a certain vehicle um, with all the details I want in it. And then also in SolidWorks, maybe redrawing stuff um, afterwards, such as like details like underside features, like a front spoiler here. Um, uh, mud flaps, you know, uh, wheel deflectors, certain things in around the wheel wells. Uh, there's loads of stuff you can add. Uh, roof rails, vortex generators, you can add them afterwards in SolidWorks. Grand. So once that's done, uh, you want to save as and save it as a step file, okay? And then open that step file up in SolidWorks. So we'll see over in SolidWorks.